guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited. I thought about this idea kind of last minute, but this is a recreation of one of my favorite burgers and it's not like the typical burger that I go for either. It's from a place called CG Burgers in my hometown of Jupiter, Florida. I normally go for smash burgers like double patty, heavily seared caramelization on the meat, American cheese. That's what I love. This is a single patty burger but it has one of my favorite things on it goat cheese. And the thing that sets this apart even more is the balsamic honey mustard sauce that they put on it. And oh my gosh, let me tell you how close I got to theirs. I am thrilled and I cannot wait to try it. So theirs is called the Napa Burger and they do a six ounce patty or an eight ounce patty. I did six and a half ounce patties today, just like what I had. And then they do crumbled goat cheese, arugula, and the balsamic honey mustard. White balsamic, by the way. All right. <sighs> Let's get into this. I am so epically excited. All right, let's start with this guy. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. And it's so pretty, isn't it? All the arugula, arugula is just pretty in general. And then the contrast between the arugula and the goat cheese and the burger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so amazing, guys. The goat cheese is so tangy and creamy. The arugula gives this like nice little like crisp freshness, a little bite from like the black peppery kind of taste that you get from it. The honey mustard is like also kind of acidic, but sweet and creamy at the same time too. The meat has great caramelization. Mm. You can't really see the patty there, but whatever. So funny story, I actually worked not at CG Burgers, but there's like an Italian restaurant that's attached to it and they're owned by the same people, this guy Carmine in Palm Beach County. And I worked at the Italian restaurant next door when I moved back from college. And that was like a very pivotal time in my life. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it today because I saw a few of you ask for story time. I'd love y'all's uh, questions too. I'd be happy to do Q and A's or just like spend some like extra time on like one or two questions per video. So if you guys have some like interesting questions for me, then I will kind of address them over time. So before I moved back from college, I was dating this guy. I'm going to leave all names out of this because I told him that I would write a book about this later in life and he said he would sue me. <laughs> I think he was joking, but never be too careful. So I was dating this guy. He had just graduated. I graduated a year before. We were both going to move back down south. He lived like an hour away from me in South Florida. And yeah, it was summer vacation and he was traveling through 
Europe. This amount of goat cheese is totally necessary. If you guys don't like goat cheese, by all means, leave the cheese off. Pick another cheese. I think it's amazing with this. So I was like fairly close with this guy's family and he, on the end of his little trip that he was taking with his buddies, was going to end in Greece, where a lot of his family is from. And they were like, oh my gosh, Lindsay, you should come. You should come to Greece. And I was like, oh my god, I'm a super spontaneous person. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should totally come to Greece. I'll surprise him in Greece. I bought a plane ticket. I've just always been this kind of person. After like a little while, I think he like caught on to the fact that I was gonna be coming because I like, while I love being spontaneous, I have the hardest time keeping secrets. <laughs> like, if there is a surprise, I'm like, mm, ask me a question, ask me. So, he kind of catches on and he is like less than enthusiastic and I became like paranoid as all hell. I was so anxious and he's like, no, 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 come, come, come. And I'm like, okay. I literally had to take a Xanax on the plane to go over there. I was like, something just isn't right. I don't know what the deal is, but I was about to go and spend two and a half weeks with him and his family in Greece and I had no idea what I was about to get into and so I get there and I meet at his uncle's place and then I had to take a boat like it was like a whole process they were on an island I had to take a boat to this island Thassos and when I got there like pretty much immediately I want to say it was like the night that I got there maybe the following after dinner he like broke up with me <laughs> and I had like a full-on full-on breakdown and he's such a nice guy he really really is and we're actually still friends today but at the time I just like could not understand and I'm the type of person that I'm like all in to things so like when I'm dating somebody especially when it's like kind of new I'm like we're gonna be together forever and so I'm like I thought we were gonna get married and we were gonna move to New York which we had talked about but he was clearly like not making any solid decisions because he didn't want to stay with me. And so I spent the next two and a half weeks with him and his family in Greece. And P.S. like his family is amazing. He is still like super nice and he was super nice while I was there. It was just super awkward because I'm like, I like you so much, but I can't touch you. What is this? We got to go to so many awesome places like, you know, it really is the way to travel with somebody that has family in a place or like lives there. So it was amazing, but when I got back, I was like totally like off the freaking rocker. I was mentally like not there. He ended up meeting up with me. Um, I was working like at this Italian restaurant and I was gonna like meet up with him for dinner because he had like something to tell me. <laughs> If you're watching this, I love you. I really do. And I truly believe everything in life happens for a reason. Everything that happens brings you to the next place. Who knows if I would be doing what I'm doing right now if all of this didn't happen. Anyway, so we meet up for dinner and he tells me that he's bisexual. And I was like, wait a second. I'm like, are you sure you're not just like gay? Like you're bisexual? Like what does this even, what does this mean? And then you know, like when that happens to you, like when you're dating somebody that 
says that you start questioning like did i do this which is obviously ridiculous because people are born that way not they don't just like turn bisexual or turn gay or anything but this is the stuff that goes through your head when you're told this Um, I kind of like downward spiraled. He ended up coming out that he was, I mean, I'm pretty sure anyways that he's like fully gay. I mean, I think he was attracted to me. So maybe he really was bisexual or is or whatever. He's married to a man now. They're great. I've actually never met his husband, but they look great. They look great together. And I'm super happy that he ended up in that place. But oh my gosh, that year of my life was uh, interesting to say the least. I'll say that. I'm not gonna get into any details because it's like self-incriminating and kind of embarrassing, but I got into a, a fair amount of things <laughs> that year. I was kind of a prude in high school and, and even in college. I was just like, you know, oh my gosh, no, I won't do that. I won't do this. I will get in trouble. I will, well, Lindsay, after she moved down south and got broken up with by her gay ex-boyfriend, <laughs> felt differently. And that's how I discovered this burger. <laughs> Who knows if I would have ever had this burger if all of that didn't happen to me and then we wouldn't be sitting here eating it together. I realize how obnoxious I am. But yeah, definitely some raves i uh did bottle service at a nightclub that closed at like 3 or 4 a.m that was great i dated an interesting guy during that period of my life something that you kind of look back on and you're like all right <laughs> so that happened and we've got to be okay with it moving on I'm still trying to get to a point where I'm like fully okay with that period of my life because I truly, truly believe that it's affected me in a few ways. Mm -hmm. I want a little bit more sauce. I feel like this one didn't get as much sauce. The trip to Greece was like freaking killer. I would have, no, I wouldn't take it back. I wouldn't take it back. I really felt some strong, strong emotions while I was over there. But I'm the type of person that like really, really loves feeling things, like any sort of thing. I just like, I love feeling it like 110%, which probably didn't help that year of my life <laughs> that I went through. And yeah, I really wouldn't have met Shane because there's so many things that happened because that all that other stuff happened. P.S. I am like now actively going to research 
how to make like the best burger. I feel like the meat temperature has a lot to do with it. The temperature on this was fairly room temp and I didn't really handle it all that much. Like I didn't add anything to it. I literally just formed it into patties. So I don't know if it's better to handle it and really, really form it, like work it, work it, form it, and then chill it so that it holds its shape a little bit better. I also should have smashed the center of the burger down when I first put it on so that it created that sort of like suction to caramelize the center of the, the burger patties because I noticed like the center of the patties were like absent of caramelization was just all around the edges. And I did that because when a burger cooks, it kind of puffs up in the center. So I always will leave kind of like an indentation in the center of my burger so that they all hopefully end up level by the end. This dressing is so good. It's funny when you like string together the chain of events. I worked with another girl at the Italian place who then was going to move over to another place, Brio. I followed her to Brio. I worked there for like four months. In that time, I met this really, this guy that wasn't really right for me. <laughs> when I met him, it kind of like, snowballed into this not great thing and then I kind of escaped up to the Hamptons and I worked in the Hamptons for a summer and then I started dating another guy that I was working with up there a serial monogamist seriously I don't know how much of my life I've really spent like single and dating but it wasn't when dating apps were around like I've never been on one and when I got back with that guy um we sort of just like moved in together real awkward like right away and i got my real estate license and real estate is the reason i knew the girl that introduced me to the guy who introduced me to the girl who introduced me to shane it's like the 10 degrees of kevin bacon or whatever This meat is delicious, by the way. It's an 85-15 blend, and it's from a local farm. We have started to get, what is it, like bi-monthly, maybe, deliveries of bacon and ground beef, and then we're gonna add chicken to our next delivery. But it's like, you know, small farm, animal welfare is obviously much better than like, you know, factory farms. It's all like grass-fed. And grass-fed beef, by the way, has less saturated fat than not grass-fed beef. And it's got like a different nutritional profile in a good way. Really pays not only to, you know, have animals treated better and to like not have chemicals in the food that the cows eat and everything, but it's just better for you in general.
I always get extra goat cheese when I go to this place. If you go to CG Burger's Instagram, they're like not very active. It seems like they have one picture of this burger and it's one that I took when I first started blogging like five years ago. <laughs> no excuse CG Burgers. Your phone is a camera. Get it going. You need new pictures. You need social media. Every business needs social media. Well, some businesses never need social media because people don't, they don't even need to advertise. They're just institutions. I wouldn't consider CG Burgers an institution though, so. You guys like my story? She's like, whoa, 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 TMI. It's crazy the stuff that happens to you. And how old was I? I was 22 when the grease thing happened. And then I'm 24 when I went through that kind of, well, I guess I was like, well, I was 23. Half of 24, maybe. Oh my gosh. Was it two years? Now I have anxiety issues. You reap what you sow. Of course. I'm a person that just feels a lot of energy anyways and that coupled with like kind of like the not favorable unfavorable memories makes me really anxious in certain situations like if I'm at a nightclub late at night I'll typically have anxiety or at music festival I'll typically have anxiety it's a full-on mental thing like 100% mental and that's what's so frustrating about it I'm sure you guys like if you've suffered from anxiety, you know, like it's just like completely self-inflicted. Knowing that you have control, but you don't have control at the same time. And I'm a control freak. I'll have to tell you another story about losing control in a bad way. <laughs> and next time. I'm wondering if I already have. I may have. Actually, it was probably like my 420 video a couple years ago. Last year, whenever it was. I'll tell it again. This is a good story. All right, guys, well, you've learned a lot about me in the past however many minutes you've been here. This really is such a good burger, and I feel like it's really appropriate slash perfect for summer. Got like the fresh arugula, goat cheese is like not melted. It's kind of like cool, smooth, creamy. Plus a burger is like all about summer. You could totally do this on the grill, by the way. If you're a fan of goat cheese, like you will 100% love this. I mean, one of the best non smash burger burgers ever. Thank you guys so much for joining today. I hope 
this is a little bit of what you were asking for. Again, comment any like questions that you have. Maybe I can like elaborate on some of them in other videos. Comment below what other summery foods you want to see me make slash eat next. My hands are so incredibly sticky right now. I'm gonna like blame it on the honey, <laughs> the honey mustard. Can you hear it? Sticky. Y'all have been great today. So thank you so much again for joining. Comment below all of the things, what you thought about the burger, what you want to see me make next, etc. The questions, all of them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.